This is going to be video number 80 on your Firearms Defense Channel. Today is April the 4th, 2011, and video 80 here is a milestone of sorts. Now, I want to address uh, some of the issues on the video number 20 that have been raised. So far, I've received 8,050 views on that video as of today. I have 212 comments. I have 23 thumbs up, 78 thumbs down, so that video isn't hugely popular. I have, as of this day, I have 378 subscribers and 274 friends for whatever that's worth. Now, as I have explained previously, I received a lot of negative comments on that video. Uh, now, some of the people who initially uh, criticized me very badly and said they hoped I got the needle and uh, used a lot of profanity to describe me. I was able to uh, later on have a reasonable dialogue with them. Uh, Real American number 37 was one of those people. Uh, we had extensive dialogue and we've, uh, we've had reasonable dialogue and stuff like that. And he's one of the people I've been able to uh, converse with. Some of the other people I just haven't. So. Uh, Here's kind of where it's at at this point. Now, I've had a few people weigh in on this channel and uh, weigh in on this video and other videos that I've made who are real gladiators, and uh, I don't need to tell anyone who they are. Uh, uh, these people know who they are, so uh, their comments are always welcome, and I've received a good, uh, good percentage of feedback from them, and. Uh, their comments are always welcome and I appreciate it. Now, as for the other comments that I've received, the comments from people uh, calling me, uh, you know, dumbass, uh, whack job, uh, uh, things like this, you know, I've decided that I'm no longer going to respond to these comments or answer them because, truthfully, you can only there's only so many times that a person needs to be told that they they deserve a needle and uh, they deserve to be put away for life and they're uh, they're a dumbass and things like that. I mean, I'm going to be 65 years old here in about a month and uh, my time here on this planet is somewhat limited and uh, I don't really have any need to spend a lot of time uh, responding to comments of this nature. So. In the future, I'll leave these comments of this type up there as a monument to the stupidity of those who have checked in and, and wrote these comments, but I'm not going to respond to them. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say mainly here. Now, the other issue I want to address here is a lot of people have raised the legitimate issue and I feel this is a legitimate issue, to be perfectly honest. A lot of people have raised a legitimate issue that they feel that some way by making these videos and posting them on YouTube that I'm hurting the, uh, the uh, two-way rights movement and I'm uh, damaging uh, our uh, right to keep and bear arms and uh, working against this uh, issue. now. Here is exactly the way I feel about it. Our 2A rights don't come from negotiating with the, the liberals and the sheep and the people who feel the way to uh, deal with uh, predatory crime is to take firearms away from the honest citizens. These people are too far gone. There's no negotiating with them. and. You know, our government is uh, pretty liberal nowadays, and uh, you've got the people out there who want to take away our 2A rights, and they want to regulate our right to keep and bear arms so heavily that it's, you no, know, there's just no negotiating with these people. So that's where that's at as far as I'm concerned. Now, having said that, now, here's the way I feel about it. Now, there are people out there who are real, real people, who are really defending our 2A rights. Now, contrary to what everybody thinks, these people are the militia 
people who are up in places like Idaho and Montana and places like that or, and our own compounds, they're heavily armed and they're willing to defend their Second Amendment rights to the death. And these are the only people out there who are going to have an effect on this, who are willing, you know, as I say, to defend their Second Amendment rights to the death. Everybody else wants to negotiate with uh, the forces of tyranny and evil, which are our government, and this isn't going to be effective. Now, it may well be that the uh, militia types will eventually lose and uh, be exterminated and our 2 a rights will disappear. Now, that's, that's still an open, ongoing issue. That may, in fact, happen eventually. Now, here's what's going to happen the way I see it. The government who wants to take away and disarm the citizens, and they want to do it for one reason and one reason only. The government wants to take over and the government wants to uh, to decide who has what rights and everything and they don't they don't want people to go anywhere but to the government uh, to have any kind of rights. Now the government are going to uh, do away with the militia people. They're going to have a tax on the militia compound and kill like 2,000 people and stuff like that and that's going to be right on the front page of the LA Times. Uh, government uh, government that exterminates 2,000 uh, right-wing extremists up in Montana. The people the government aren't going to bother, they're not going to bother the drug dealers over in South Central because they're too alarmed. I mean, the drug dealers over in South Central have AK-47s and everything, and uh, they're not going to be able to exterminate them because uh, they're going to shoot back and kill a lot of government people. And besides, that would look bad. That would be uh, profiling. That would be prejudice. The government isn't going to do that. Another group the government isn't going to do anything about, they're not going to do anything about all the Islamic extremists in this country. They're letting these people build mosques and do everything else, and they don't care about them. These people can do whatever they want to, and they're not going to bother them at all. They can do whatever they want to do. They can bring a suitcase nuke into their country and uh, you know blow up a city and stuff like that, and the government's not going to do anything about that. Another group of people that they're not going to do anything about is all the illegals coming into our country and taking over. They're not going to do anything about that. They can come across our border to their heart's content. They can be established in places like Hollenbeck. They can bring in all the drugs they want. They can have all the weapons they want. The government isn't going to bother them. So that's what's happening in our country, and that's what the government isn't going to do. And you, an example of this is uh, when 9-11 happened, uh, the government's response to that was to uh, set up the TSA and establish airport security. And you'll see things happen in airport security right now, like uh, there'll be a line of people going through security, and there'll be three people in the uh, Islamic guard carrying the Koran and stuff like that. And they'll wave them people right on through. And a family of uh, three uh, white Americans, mom, dad, and a baby carried in the mother's arms, They'll pull them people aside and strip search them, you know, but they won't search the Islamic terrorists because they don't want to profile these people. And it's for that reason I'm just thoroughly fed up. My goal here, you know, since people have weighed in on uh, video 20 and call me a dumbass and a whack job and stuff like that, well, I say fuck those people. My goal here on video number 80, I want to light this thing up real good. I want to I want to barbecue meat and I want to throw gasoline on fire and I want to get this thing lit up real good. Because you know what? I'm just thoroughly fed up. The sheep want to weigh in. They want to take our firearms. The government wants to take our firearms. The hell with these people. Once again, I'm thoroughly fed up. Now, now one last thing, you know. The government and the law enforcement and all these other people, the judicial system, another thing you're not doing anything about whatsoever is a predatory crime problem, and I'm fed up with that too. Uh, Chelsea King down in San Diego, they let this puke out of jail, and he was living in the community, 
and eh, he killed her, you know, and eh, nothing's going to be done about that. That's forgotten about. Uh, over here in uh, Venice, you know, they let this puke out of the mental institution, and he cut this lady up one morning, and nothing's going to be done about that. In the meantime, down here at Venice Beach, the, uh, the cops are patrolling Venice Beach down there, busting the artists and the people who sell stuff down there on the boardwalk, uh, trying to make a living. They're busting and hassling them people. They're not out there doing anything about the predatory crime problem. Uh, this Jared Lochner and over in Arizona, he, he got a hold of a gun and killed six people and wounded a dozen others. And even in Arizona, a liberal uh, right to carry state, nobody had the gun there to kill this guy, you know. So, so like I say, that's it for video 80. This is, uh, I'm going to close video 80 out, 80 out here just one more time. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly fed up. Yeah, I don't care to hear anything more from the sheep and the liberals, you know. And uh, I just want to light this thing up and get this thing going real good. So that's it for number 80 on your firearms defense channel. And anyway, uh, all the gladiators out there who are part of my subscribers, you know, you're always welcome and uh, I like you a lot. See you on video number 81.